All eyes are on Iowa as we continue processing today's event. All of this coming just 11 days before the Iowa caucus. Governor Reynolds was asked about this at today's press conference. A reporter asking Reynolds how candidates should talk about today's shooting. Here's what she had to say. I'll let them decide how they're going to talk about it. Uh, we're going to focus on the investigation and we're going to focus on making sure that we provide the resources that the community, the teachers, the staff, those that are involved, the families, that we're providing the resources that they need during this difficult time. So that's what I'm going to be focused on, the state of Iowa is going to be focused on, and I'll let the candidates decide what they're going to focus on. This tragedy comes as the whole country has eyes on Iowa with the caucuses being just 11 days away. A candidates were in Iowa today and Local 5's Dana Serials is following their reactions that came in throughout the day. That's right, Stephanie. Definitely all eyes are on Iowa right now. And as Iowans will contribute to a very crucial part of the 2024 presidential race. However, today's tragedy is something that all of Iowa is feeling. So here are how the candidates reacted today. Governor Ron DeSantis and Nikki Haley participated in a CNN town hall. And the first question asked of both of them was how they would address the topic of gun violence. What we see is 80% of mass shooters are in some sort of crisis at the time that they do that. We've got to do better. The problem is we don't have enough mental health therapists. We don't have enough mental health centers. She also added that the schools need to be secured just like our airports and courthouses are and added specific mental health counselors to those schools. Meanwhile, DeSantis spoke about how he handled a similar situation in Florida. Uh, and I was charged with implementing uh, reforms to be able to provide security for schools. So we've done every, everything but like school resource officers, uh, help with hardening, uh, but also help identify students that are exhibiting really problematic behavior. He also added that background checks should be instant when buying guns. And now Nikki Haley also participated in that town hall and we just gave you um, her response. She spoke a lot about the mental health and the role that she believes that it plays in shootings. Now, who wasn't at the town hall tonight, Vivek Ramaswamy, he also weighed in on this, posting on X, quote, we pray for the victims of the tragic high school shooting in Perry, Iowa. We canceled our event and converted it to a prayer and open conversation. Now, all candidates emphasize that they are thinking of the community of Perry and that they are terribly sorry about this tragedy. Stephanie. Dana, thank you. On the Democratic side of the Iowa uh, of the aisle, Iowa Democratic Chair Rita Hart weighed in on today's tragedy, saying in part, our students should be able to focus on creating brighter futures for themselves while they are in their classrooms, not looking for escape routes, hiding places, or fearing for their safety. Iowa legislators are weighing in and reacting to today's event. Representative Zach Nunn releasing a statement saying, as a parent and community member, I'm beyond angry. Uh, my heart and my commitment to holding those accountable is with the community of Perry. We have a duty to protect our children, families, and educators. Senator Joni Ernst also releasing a statement saying her team was in touch with Dallas County officials. Ernst extending her sympathies, saying in part, join us in praying for the safety and recovery of those involved.